This is a learning and exam preparation video for the IB business syllabus. At the end of the video are practice assignments for you to prepare you from the exams. Please click www.intmace.com on the link at the bottom of this video to do the assignments for this topic, Unit 2.4, Microeconomic. Critique of the maximizing behavior of consumers and producers. Behavioral Economics HL Extension Topic Behavioral Economics Behavioral Economics studies the effects of psychological, cognitive, emotional, cultural and social factors on the decisions of individuals and institutions and how those decisions vary from those implied by neoclassical economic theory of rational decision making. Behavioral Economics Choice Architecture this theory suggests that consumer choice can be influenced by the way information or how things are arranged before us and shows how consumer choice may not necessarily be based on rationality. This implies that consumer decision can be manipulated or directed by others in a way that consumers feel they are making a sovereign choice yet not realizing that they have been in some ways directed towards an outcome decided by others. Behavioral Economics Choice Architecture 1. Default Choice This refers to the choice or decision you have been deemed to have made if you do nothing. This is often seen in some countries where national law requires that by default, some percentage of their monthly income has to be deducted and placed in a national savings plan. If a consumer wanted does not want to be bound to this saving plan, they have to opt out, e. Go to the authorities to inform them that you do not want your savings to be placed into this savings plan. Otherwise every month the deduction of one income will automatically take place. 2. Restricted choice. A restricted choice is akin to the example of junk food and healthier food. Because of the existence of bounded rationality. Consumers can find it really difficult to make effective decisions when the number of choices or options is large, this may result in them failing to make any decision. Therefore, restricting the number of available choices may be more likely to cause consumers to act and actually make a decision, resulting in a more efficient outcome. 3. Mandated choice, this refers to the choice one has to make when one is faced with a choice on the way obtaining something important like renewal of one's driving lysine for instance. It is known in many countries that organ transplant is a major problem as there are not many donors to begin with. To solve this, the government has decided to mandate a choice out of drivers who wish to renew their driving license. During the renewal. Driver have to decide if they wish to donate their organ to those who need it should they pass on. This is a much more effective way of getting organs than one whereby donors are asked to take their time to decide and to register by themselves. Nudge theory. Nudge theory suggests that the way choice can be influenced is by gently presenting options to them that appear no threatening and didactic but would encourage consumers toward acceptable choices and still not have them give up their sovereignty. The consumer will in fact feel that they made the choice voluntarily and as such will be able to inculcate better long-term and more rational choice. As an example, in a school canteen healthier foods like salads and wheat bread are placed more conveniently and strategically in places where students stand a better chance of noticing them first before less healthy foods like chocolates and sweets are considered. Students then develop a habit of eating healthy by default as health food have been voluntarily picked by them. Business Objectives the objective of firms is to maximize profits. This would mean that firms would produce at an output whereby the total revenues of the firm is highest and its total cost is least. Profit maximization is a rational decision as it will ensure the firms will have enough profits to produce new and better products through R&D, acquire more resources or build new capital to expand their operations to secure their future survival. However, 
profit maximization may not always be rationally directed in its objectives. Alternative business objectives may also be sought by the firms like 1. Corporate social responsibility 2. Market share 3. Satisficing 4. Growth Business objectives 1. Corporate social responsibility Corporate social responsibility is a management concept whereby companies integrate social and environmental concerns in their business operations and interactions with their stakeholders. Corporate social responsibility can take the form of philanthropy, environment conservation, diversity and labor practices, and volunteerism. 2. Market Share When firms' objective is to gain market share, they may sacrifice short-term profits so as to increase their presences just to gain more shares in the market. They may employ more sales staff, increase advertising costs or pay more commissions to motivate sales all of which will increase the cost of sales and lower profits for the firm. 3. Satisficing the managers of the firm will attempt to guarantee a lower level of return to the shareholders of the business while simultaneously try to improve on the well-being of the company's employees like by giving them better welfare benefits or training. This will ultimately create a stronger company with a more robust and loyal workforce building on the reputation and long-term viability of the business. 4. Growth Companies may merge or acquire other companies owing to a mature market for which their products are seeing less demand and greater competition. Growing this way would require setting aside profits, currently as well as accumulated wealth and at times may even have to borrow to acquire the shares of other companies so as to enlarge a company's presence in an industry so as to grow. Sample I.BHL slash SL question for this topic. HL extension question. Question 1. Explain two cognitive biases that influences consumers when making consumption choices. Question 2. Using real world example, evaluate the effectiveness of nudge theory in helping consumers make better choices. Question 3. Discuss whether all firms exist to maximize profit. Practice assignments, exam prep assignments for the IB business studies syllabus. You may now proceed to try out the exam preparation assignments. All assignments will be marked and feedback will be given. Should you need to speak to one of our tutors send your email to administration at intmace.com. Please proceed to the link www.intmace.com at the bottom of this video to commence with your practice. Please click subscribe to our video if you find the content useful. All the best with your assignments.